A top East Tennessee State University football supporter tonight is throwing his support behind head football coach Randy Sanders. This after the university put the coach on paid administrative leave. So far, the university has said it cannot comment on the reason for the decision. They say it's a personnel matter. Sanders has only been on the job a few months. He oversaw the second spring scrimmage just this past weekend. Justin Soto's live on the ETSU campus tonight. Reaction from a top supporter of the program is new tonight at 11. Well, support from key donors for ETSU football was that decision was made five years ago to bring football back right here on campus. And tonight, a top donor to ETSU football said the allegations against Sanders are BS and he wants to coach back on campus. I have a lot of friends on the team and they all really like him. ETSU junior Hunter Cobble heard the news about Coach Sanders Monday morning. Unless there's just really bad evidence that something went wrong, yeah, I think he should be reinstated. One opinion on campus and at a Tri-Cities business. I played ball there in 1969 and 1970. ETSU football booster Steve Grindstaff played for the Bucks. The well-known Tri-Cities auto dealer has been a supporter for years. I always furnish the coaches with uh, cars or whatever they needed. Grindstaff, whose support helped bring back the program and whose grandsons are involved in ETSU football, says this news won't impact his role as a booster. It probably, if anything, will pick it up another 110% because we need to keep Coach Sanders. He's a great coach, and I think all these allegations are BS. And that's great talk, straight from the boss. Supporting Coach Sanders and the program 100%. I think we need to keep him. I think the, uh, uh, the president needs to, and the athletic director need to take care of this now. They need to put him back to coaching and uh, let the pro sell, sell the problem in house. Simple way it should be. And I did reach out to some other donors tonight. They didn't want to comment on the investigation. One telling me he wants to wait until Dr. Nolan makes a decision. We're live at ETSU tonight. I'm Justin Soto, News Channel 11, in your corner. Back to you.